I'm in Arizona. I'm at a place called Quick Trip. That's Quick Trip. And uh, I'm going to give you some details. I come here for hot dogs, and I'll talk to you about that here in a minute. What's up, people? Hot dog. Hot dog. So, I stopped here. I'm on a load here in Arizona. They had me deadhead from Cali after my truck was fixed. It was a sensor. <clears throat> and uh, it was weird. I, they had parked me right in the door, right in the area of the... Of the, of the shop like right there between two doors and then they were pulling up trucks that they were towing right next to my truck and he had the whole left side step off because I guess that's where the sensor was installed at and um, so I'm getting up in the morning because I had heard from the driver service was like hey you know what's going on with the truck because they want to know if they had to get this dude with another trainer and um, so I said hey they said they're gonna get in last night I'm just getting up to get dressed I'm getting dressed curtains are closed I didn't hear the dude. He's installing the damn sensor early in the morning. So, and then he had to had to force the regen through the computer, knocked out all the lights, all the check his lights. Anyway, this right here, these are sports peppers. I'd never had these before until QT. Only bad part is QT. If you're watching, y'all got rid of the sports peppers at the hot dog bar. When I worked for University of Phoenix, wasn't a lot of restaurants around us, so uh, we'd either order something in, or you bring your lunch, or there was a quick trip. A quick trip when I was working for Schwab was a company I would have loved to invest in stock, but they are not publicly traded. They are they still keep themselves as a private entity company, and but they apparently pay their employees quite well, and uh, probably one of the best. Uh, and they do have some truck stops throughout the country, not a lot, but a few. One of the best hot dog bars ever, and they now have even a little kind of like a cafe bar where they cook stuff for you real quick, pizza. Uh, they do pretzels and other stuff. I don't know everything because I really, I usually go in there to get tea, um, some kind of drink. Um, I usually do tea. Now I'm doing more tea. And uh, to do coffee. And I love their hot dog bar. And I'm not a huge hot dog person because y'all don't even want to know what's in a hot dog, what can be in a hot dog. I remember in high school, you learned what could be in a hot dog. I'm scared. But they got rid of the sports peppers. QT, I'm not happy with you. So I'm going to pick up my beef load, which they called me early in the morning, and believe it or not, it's ready, which is very rare. Hold on, y'all. I picked up my, I got y'all sitting on a different thing. I picked up my sports peppers at, in Chicago, and they've been in the, they've traveled with me from the one company to another, or no, they came with, I went over here, and I picked them up in Chicago. That, what's that name? Ra? It's a, it's a TA there. And, there's, and I picked them up over there when I picked that Giardarnia or whatever the hell that mix is. And it's just probably the most phenomenal mix ever. Anyway, they used to have like the long pickles. Now they got short pickles. It's okay. It was the kosher deal. Okay. It's okay. So they changed up their hot dog bar. They still got the pico de gallo. They got uh, celery salt. I love, you know, some people don't like it, but I love sauerkraut. That's sauerkraut. Um, not too much to talk about. I'm on my way back to California after I pick up this load, but I'm eating my hot dog first. I'll pick up this load, do my loaded call, and then head out. I'm going to eat my hot dog first. Um, Y'all be blessed. Me and Joe hung out last night. I got in. I said, I'm here. <clears throat> and we went to, it's called Gordon Biersch. It's a grill brewery. And uh, we went there, and I got me some shrimp lobster tacos. They were okay. I, I like salsa with any taco, and all they had was pico de gallo and some sauce they put on there. It was okay. Uh, their garlic fries was on hit. And then they had something called their gorgonzola salad. I wasn't too happy with it. It was okay. So I got a little bit left over from there. I'll probably chop on it later if it's any good. Um, we did spend a pretty penny for it, but... It was his first time ever there. It wasn't a bad little restaurant. He had the sliders. Um, and I didn't think to film it because it was so late. One time we got together, we were just trying to find somewhere to go eat. And at the time, because he had a massage, he does, he's a massage therapist. Uh, that's what his business was. 
um, when he left Schwab and he became a massage therapist. He does like just limited clients now. And um, I had to deliver an empty trailer and then I was I was sweaty as hell. I had to go get the trailer washed. I had to, I was going to get it washed in Cali and then I was like, it's done in Arizona. And then I had to fuel it and then I had to fight with them on the fuel because they <laughs> crazy as hell. Anyway, so I got the reefer fueled. Um, and so now I got to pick this trailer up. I'm, I'm literally like a minute from where this trailer is right now. It's like right behind me. So I'm going to go do that. And, uh, yeah, they called me last night, like two o'clock in the morning, which usually I just have to wait almost a whole nother 10, 20 hours when this is done. It looks like they've hired more people and they've hired new people. So I don't know if they're running better, but, uh, JBS, Arizona, y'all doing better. Because before I didn't know if it was my company or them. It was horrific. Anyway, I'm getting ready to uh, bail out of here. I just want to kind of do a quick check in. I'm going to do some shout out videos for the 411 as well as um, as well as the Trucker Doll channel because I got a lot of uh, bibliophile. I got your message. You know that. And I've added you to Facebook. Thank you for reaching out. And yeah, definitely let me know and anybody on 411 know if you have any questions about possibly coming into the industry. I'll, I'll be happy to help you with it. At least what I can tell you. I mean, I'm not, I will never claim to know everything. But I will tell you my experience. And I will tell you what I've gathered from the trucking game. I think this kid, I was watching, uh, if you guys have not watched them, they, they really have, a, they, they came in and it was killing it. But I really like them, uh, Locked and Freed, Nick and Carmel, thanks Nick and Carmel. And they were talking about how it, things changed from when they came from a corporate job to doing trucking and how they like it. You either like it or you don't. It's going to be one of the two ways. Um, there's another lady I just, I can't remember her name right now. Oh, I'll find it later. I happened on her video because somebody joined the channel and I went and checked. Because I always check if you join to make sure it ain't something weird. And I'll be shouting you out. But uh, I hooked to another lady who came from a corporate life and is now in trucking. And she did 10 years and walked, 10, I think 10 or 13 years and walked away from her job. And people, it's hard for people to understand that. But if you ever worked in a corporate environment where you walk into a job every day and all of a sudden, you know, she said, I hated just even the email. I'm like, oh, girl, I remember just driving up to the building and feeling sick to my stomach. Um, there's, there's just a point in life where you have to make some choices. And, um, yeah, we'll, 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 I'm going to do a little video on this. But I thought I've actually, and I'm going to put down some people I think if you guys want, check them out. And they're not, well, Lock the Freedom now becoming more of a mainstream but the other lady, I think she might start having follow-up, I didn't know about her. And then there was one who does rides, which I really love. I want something I want to get into. Anyway, we'll get more into everything, guys. Be blessed. Um, oh, while we were there, I ran into, well, one of them, he, he rolled out because they were getting a little tipsy. Some ministers that one of them, we got our ministry license about the same time. And he came to the table. I said, hey, Chuck. And he's like, I know I knew your face. He's like, I don't remember your name. And I hadn't seen him for like 15, 20 years. But we got our ministry license. I'm 50 now, and I've got mine in my 30s. And he, he's looking older as well. But I was like, okay. And uh, he had two kids last I knew. And I guess he went in full-time ministry, and he um, has been the, the way the AME, that's African Methodist Episcopals, work, is that they basically, uh, the bishop assigns pastor roles, and they can move these guys around. Um, it's kind of very corporate in how it's run which is a plus and a minus, and I won't get into that here. But, uh, yeah, it was funny because I think when they realized all of them rolled out, like, I'm like, I don't really care y'all having a cocktail. You know, I, again, we got to be careful with our hypocrisy because if we go back, no one got drunk. After the flood, no one's like, I need a cocktail. And I'll be honest, he did better than me because I probably would have rocked somewhere in the corner because that to watch all of mankind be washed out except for you and your family, that's deep. That's, that's, that's some mental stuff that you got to really try to handle. That's like some major PTSD stuff. Um, anyway, <laughs> y'all be blessed. I'm kind of laughing at myself thinking about the Lord and some of the stuff he does. Anyway, two and two, be blessed. We'll talk more. Let me go get this load, eat my hot dog. Hot dog. Peace.